Hello techies, welcome back to Git Tutorials. In this session, we will learn what is repository and how to create a new repository using GitHub. Without wasting time, let me tell you what is repository. Version control systems are associated with two basic components. One is repository, another one is working copy. Now we'll talk about the repository. Repository is a database in which all the changes or edits implemented and all the historical versions of a project are stored. Now, let me show you a demo how to create a new repository by using GitHub. Let me switch to Google Chrome. I'm already logged in or signed in into github.com. So now I will show you how to create a new repository. Can you see over here? There's a plus option to create a new repository. Can you click on scroll down? And you can see there are a lot of options. New repository, import repository, new guest, new organization, and new project. Now we are talking about the new repository, correct? Now let me click on new repository. Create a new repository. A repository contains all project files, including the revision history. Already have a project repository elsewhere. Then you are going to import the repository. Now what we have to do, we have to create a repository. You can see here the owner. So the owner is that we have given the username at the starting time. If you want to check it out what is the username, please watch the previous video while you are going to sign up the GitHub. Okay, now what we are going to do, we are going to give the repository name. What is the repository name? You can give, a, uh, you know, you can give any project name if you want to give it over here, you can give it. As of now, what I will give, git project I will give it over here so as I told you no know, in the previous session if you're giving space you can see over here git hyphen project it will create your new report will be created with git hyphen project okay and the description this is git project demo I will give you like that okay and I'm going to be creating with the public anyone can see this repository i'm not using private repository and now what i'm going to do i'm going to skip this step for importing for an existing report i'm not going to use any uh, readme file i'm not going to be committing any readme file and then i'm not adding any ignore files and i'm not doing any kind of adding licenses over here and then i have already created a you know i'm i have given the repository name and then I'm going to, by clicking this green button, I'm going to create a repository using GitHub. This is very simple to create a Git repository. And then you can see over here, in the same way, code, issues, pull requests, and whatnot, we will discuss all these things in the upcoming sessions, okay? And then you can see there are the few commands or create a new repository on command line. So you can use all these things to use repository. Okay, to create the repository. If you want to push an existing repository, push your code to an existing repository from the command line, you have to use these things. Okay, this is all about how you are going to create a, you know, a new repository by using GitHub. Let me show you how to create a new repository using Git GUI or Git Bash. Unfortunately, we can't create remote repository by using git GUI or git bash in the github repository. So we can create local repositories only. I will show you how it is by the commands. Now what we are going to do, so I'm going to show you a demo how to use the uh, git commands to initialize and to connect to the github. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm already having a folder called git demo okay in my local in my desktop or in my pc what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new folder again i'm saying it is git test day one i'm just giving this name over here for the folder so what i'm going to do we are having two options to start the git bash from here so you can see when i click when I have already installed, you can find it out in the, uh, you know, in the right click, when you right click, there you will find two things. One is git GUI, another one is git bash. If you want to use command lines, then you can go ahead and you can use git bash to redirect directly over here. Let me click on that. I have already clicked git bash 
uh, you know, uh, git bash command line prompt. You can see over here the path. This documents git demo, git test day one. This is the folder. If you want to know the path of the, you know, which location that you are, just type pwd. You can see you are in the cd, uh, in the directory c users, Amir is my desktop on the documents, and there's a folder this much of long blah 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 things that we have. So if you are not related to the particular, uh, you know, path, then you can say uh, directly you can use cd slash whatever the path if you want to give it you can go ahead and you can redirect it now if you say i'm just given cd uh, you know slash c then automatically it's redirected to c drive now i'm already in the particular path okay now if you want to see the all uh, what are the files that you have then just use ls then if you have any files in this uh, folder uh, no it will give uh, display the files so as of now, I don't have anything. Just let me create one test file over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just clicking on right click and then I'm going to use the document and I'm just giving test. Okay, and then once again, I'm going for the LS and then you can see you are having test dot text file. Okay, now I will show you some of the commands before that. These are the commands. To initialize git, you have to use git init init nothing but initialize another one if you are adding any files then you have to add git add so and so file so that is readme.md that i have given as of now but this is the file name so what i'm going to do i'm using test file test.txt file txt file right then the third one if you want to commit it git commit hyphen m nothing but modified or the you know files that we have and then you can give the comments i have given as the first commit no need to give the same com uh, you know comment over there if you want to give any i'm going to simply you can type it anything and then you know you can commit the changes and then the main important thing you can see description another one is that the git remote add origin so whatever the files you are having on your local repository then you are going to push it all these things to the github repository which are hosted in cloud so if you see over here https colon github.com slash username that is i am having basha amir 86 hyphen trainer and the repo is that we have just given git demo dot git i will show you how to copy that and then finally you are going to push it git push hyphen u u is nothing but update i'm going to give the origin and then to which branch that i'm going to it is which branch that i'm going to push it i'm going to push it into the master the main command is git remote add origin https that is you know the main github repository that you're going to give it let me switch back to my folder and you can see these are the git commands that we are having first of all what is the step one so initialize it git initialize so if you once you click it you can see previously we had empty initialize the empty git repository so that you will find it out this dot git files over here if you click over here you can find a lot of files like hooks information objects reference config description head all these files that you will find it now what is the second step to add the files whatever you are having this local repository this is the local repository so what i'm going to do get add so if i'm what is the file that i'm having text dot text file so i'm going to add the files over there for the particular repository okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to commit the files okay now if you see in my folder that i'm having dot git file test file that i'm having it i have added it to the particular initialization and then i have added it which are modified now what i'm going to do git commit this is the third step that i'm having hyphen m m is nothing but modified so i'm giving this is my first commit or else i'll go this is my first demo i'm just giving an example over here and then i'm going to click on enter you can see over here you're going to be committing in the master that is root commit and you can see the file 
this is the you know id related okay this is my first demo that which i have given over here can you see over here the commit right the same thing what are the comments that i have given for that comment it is going to be happening in the local repository and you can see create mode i have created this one and one file has been changed it's zero incessant zero deletions as of now and you can see the text file test dot text file has been uh, you know committed to the local repository now what we have to do we have to push it to the remote repository how can we push it up and how can i get the uh, remote repository let me switch back to the same thing you can see over here and you can find it out https uh, as well as ssh so it is better to work with the https and you can see the codes i don't have any files over here can you see any files over here no so i'm going to copy this by using copy or else you can see over here using this option that you can click on that one it's a file has been copied now let me go back over here now what i'm going to do i want to communicate with my repository which are has been created in github how can we do that git remote repository that is remote add origin so don't get sometimes you know confused like that you know origin spelling we are giving we are going to type it as o r g i n but it is o r i g i n and then what i'm going to do i'm going to paste that you know which i have given the repository can you see over here let me unload this and you can see git remote add origin https and you can see bashamir86 this is the username and the git project dot git which i have given for the repository name and then i'm going to click on enter it will takes a little bit time sometimes you know it will ask for the if you have not connected it will ask for the username and password please provide username and password and now finally what i'm going to do i'm going to push you know the code whatever uh, the code or the test files whatever i am having in my local repository that i am going to push it to the master in the github how can we go ahead and do that git push push is the important command hyphen u u is nothing but update and then i am going to give origin what is the branch that we are having we are having master branch as of now and then i am going to click on enter it will takes a little bit time to push the code from local repository to github repository now if you see it is going to be pushing the code so counting objects 0 3 by 3 and it has been done writing objects 100% it has been completed and from to who to uh, if you see https github.com/bashamir86 hyphen trainer and you can see the new repository and the branch is master it has been successfully you no know, set up to track remote branch master from origin and now all the files have been pushed how can we get confirmed okay before that let me tell you one thing sometimes you will get 443 error so because of if you are using uh, corporate accounts they will block uh, you know they will block the port number 443 so so whenever you are working with github the port has to be open with the 443 so if it is not open please ask your uh, it administrator team to open that uh, you know 443 port number okay i hope this is a majorly commonly you uh, commonly coming issue while you are going to be you know uh, adding a remote origin at the time you will get like fatal error 443 error i thought to explain you this one and then let me switch back to my you know same github account i am now in the github project so as of now i don't find any codes let me refresh it and you can see over here one commit has been happened and one branch has been created and you can see you can see the commit this is my first demo and you can see text dot txt file has been created and then you can see one branch what is that branch that is the master branch that has been pushed up but for the git bash we can't create a remote repository by using git bash but is there any alternative for that one yes there it is now if you see over here github community has been provided 
creating a new repository from command line. Is there any git command to create a new repository and push my commits to GitHub from there? So there, one of the person has asked. The solution is that there is a no. There is no need to git command to create a new GitHub repo. But there is one of the CLI that you know you have to install. Go, uh, you know by installing hub, and then you can go ahead and you can use git create hyphen d and the committing name that what you have. Then you know it will help you to create a new repository in the GitHub by using CLI. I hope you understand how to create a repository by using GitHub. And also, we have seen different Git bash commands, how to communicate with the repository which we have been created at GitHub. Thank you for watching GitHub tutorials. If you have any query related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. Stay tuned by connecting with us by subscribing our channel. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye bye. Have a nice day.